monsters. Give vodka, dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight's shit. Why, Buck? I'm here to end your misery. Stop it with those false alarms, Witcher. Careful there. Hello. Did you spot something? A fine kettle of fish. A fine kettle of fish. Any idea what Yorvith intends? Only I think he it would have delayed.
ticks of non-humans. Everything in order? I killed the troll. The Commandant will be delighted. Here's your fifty aurons. Not exactly a fortune. You chose a poorly paid profession, Witcher. What do you do? I'm the Royal Castellan. I look after Flotsam's provisions, fortifications, and so forth. So if I exterminate a monster, I need to see you about the reward? Indeed. You could start by filling in Form H-12 and taking it to... I don't need to. I've got immunity. Ah. Well, you'll find the notice board out in front of the inn. And good hunting to you. So long. I'm a woman of virtue. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or, your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, it's a third of you. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. What then? He got a bolt in the back. With these cunts, Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack. A ballista? The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. 
I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside feast. As as if it's <laughs> Except a fireside <laughs> feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it Luckily, snipping the around like dogs in a rubbish dump. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for sniffing you. Sniffing around so like dogs in a to rubbish tell dump. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten that orans. struts about as if he were the king himself. Sniffing around like dogs in a rubbish dump. Haven't had this Don't you traipse around here. That's true. You know this one. A little apple Don't you traipse around here. Don't you traipse around here. Don't you traipse around here. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? That one struts about as if Nothing he were the king himself. They say feast. witches have no need <laughs> to plow. Except a fireside feast with copious Did you know that? Maker. Greetings. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> They say witches have no need. Tend to the ballista well. guard. So long as he can you know that? Toilet, I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Don't you traipse around here. Don't you traipse around here. Don't you traipse around here. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. That one struts about as if he were the king himself. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Did you hear? Yes. How did you plan to get rid of the guard by the ballista? I have my ways. But you wanted to do it alone, so go talk to the buffoon. Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Soldier! Report to me immediately! Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long don't you, you traipse around here. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orange. Don't you traipse around here. The entire garrison that one struts about as if he were the Isn't that right? Himself. Sir! That's the attitude, soldier. The Commandant will hear of this. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We called the witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business, too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in, while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit.
I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it, too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo, then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him, too. I heard you killed the Cairn. Flotsam is grateful. Let's say that squares the crimes of your friends. They're free to go. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. My enemy's enemy is my friend. We barely escaped with our lives the last time we ran into Yorvith. Damn squirrels draw ever nearer. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure. They eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a Scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Laredo's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as your vet remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. I'm a Witcher. I don't work for free. Of Course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the Trading Post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Though you stir up storms wherever you go, I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. No passage. Oh. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Now, if you're me down the path, plow them all, plow them all. They say witches have no plow need all, to plow. plow oh, you are Did you know that? Rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do I don't like oh, What do you need, ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. 
Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right, it'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. All right, I'm off to give the boy some diversion. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plough into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. like that you could conquer all turned me away at the turned me away at the door the bastard <laughs> we'll meet later don't forget your weapons on the way out Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit.
I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. What then? He got a bolt in the back. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. My one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Orson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. How did Laredo's goons catch Yorvith's right-hand elf? I was betrayed. How else? There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering. All for naught. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. Why does the Dwan want Yorvith dead? He used us. From the start. Our hatred. But he no longer needs Yorvith. Sees him as a thorn in his side. Though I don't know what Letho wants. What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. You've got no choice. Tell me, or I'll kill you. No! If I die, Yorvath won't learn the truth! Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom! In due time, Yorvath will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvath himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. 
What if Yorveth already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaine. Yorveth fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Trist, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts. Then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorveth can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in a forest. We should start there. Lead the way.
I think the stew's ready. I'm a witcher! Glad you're here. I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests. Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. <laughs> <laughs> 